Apple has invested $1 billion in China's leading app-based private taxi service, Didi Xuxing. It's a move that Apple chief executive Tim Cook says will help the company better understand the Chinese market. Now, Apple's latest move is seen as an attempt to reinvigorate its sales in China, where it's come under increasing pressure from regulators. The deal also offers a glimpse of how Apple may diversify its business as global sales of the iPhone decline. Well, joining me now for more on this is TRT World's Surav Roy. So, Surav, uh, Apple rarely make investments into companies like this. Why are they into countries like this? Why are they doing this now? Well, it's clear that Apple wants to set its record straight in China. This is a com this is a country which means a lot to Apple, starting from the fact that a lot of its manufacturing base is in China iPhones, iPads are all manufactured in China and almost 25% of its revenue comes from Greater China. This is a country which means a lot. However, the fact is that China and Apple have not been the best of the friends and because of which um, Apple perhaps wants to set the record straight and Tim Cook thinks that it's, it's good to invest in China right now so as to give the government an indicator that we're willing to soften down as well. And this Didi Xuxing, this is a Uber style service, is that right? Yes, yes, it's China's, it's China's biggest um, ride-hailing app or ride-hailing service and it carries about 11 million people or 11 million rides every day which is twice the population of Singapore. So the kind of revenue that you can expect from this is incredible. It's perhaps more than Uber's revenue in entire Asia and Apple wants to invest in Didi Xing because it knows that if one door has been closed by the Chinese government on it which is um, by banning iTunes Music or iBooks, then it can perhaps try to open up another door softly by investing in Chinese companies. And what do you think this tells us about Apple's diversification across the board? This is quite an interesting move for, for the company, isn't it? That's true. A lot of people, a lot of analysts have been waiting to see how Tim Cook takes the future of Apple seriously and how future smart can he make Apple. And I think Tim Cook is doing just the right thing because here is a is an economy which is growing with the middle class and here is an app which perhaps is one of the biggest in the world and given the decline in the sales of iPhones and iPads this is perhaps the best time to ride on the wave of the sh shared economy as well as car technology. And ride as being the apt word in that <laughs> sentence. Um, and for China itself, uh, for Apple itself in China, just talk us through some of the problems that they are facing. You talked about the regulation, but what else? Why, is, why are iPhone sales going down in China particularly? Because China is a smart country. And as I say, uh, everything that is manufactured in China can be replicated in China. There's a great saying, marriages are made in heaven, divorces on earth, everything else is made in China. And uh, Apple iPhones and Apple iPads are not just replicated, Apple stores are replicated in China. Absolutely. Apple has lost its trademark over iPhone in China recently. The Chinese government asked Apple to turn over its source code for iPhones, which Apple declined. And with all these given problems, Apple still wants to be in China because that's the matter manufacturing base for iPhones and iPads and and it's going to be really logistically difficult for Apple to uproot its manufacturing base from China and move it somewhere else. Absolutely. Good stuff. Sorry, I'll have to leave it there, but thanks for coming in. Thank you.